I, I think it's moving in the direction we want to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we all, we, you know, that's, again, it's never satisfied, so it's it's a really, really tough life to live sometimes. But the reality is, is, you know, we always ask ourselves, can we play harder? And coach always comes in and asks us the same thing. You know, are you really playing as hard as you possibly can? And, uh, you know, there's always room for, for, for that. You know, there's nobody ever really truly plays as hard as everybody thinks they should or could. And um, so we continue to harp on those things. But uh, the progress and the things that we evaluate and the things that we're working for, uh, we definitely see the progress. Is Michigan it State is technical or is there the effort? No, there, there's a lot. I mean, again, those things, what we talk about, we, we don't coach effort anymore. I mean, it's, it's, it's command. It's, it's, it's a demand. And, um, you know, those guys understand that. And it's, and it's ingrained in them. It's in the culture. Um, but even with that being said, you can always, you know, evaluate and pinpoint and, and pick out some things where, guys, we can always do a better job. And, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Michigan State is 14th in the country in, in, uh, or excuse me, ninth in the country in total offense. I think everybody talks about their defense. But ninth in the country in total offense, they seem to just keep getting better. What do you see out of their offense? Consistency. And uh, I think you've seen that over the probably about the last five, six years. Um, I think they've, they've ended up, <laughs> as you really start to evaluate, with a bunch of quarterbacks that are really good football players. You know, a um, couple of them starting in the NFL, three of them maybe starting in the NFL now, and they're a product of the system. And, and when you see that consistency over time, um, as the next guy steps in, the next guy steps in, you know, they get better and better and better. And uh, they're a tough, hard-nosed, physical group with, uh, with, with some skill and a quarterback that can, uh, that can control everything. This has turned into such a big game and uh, a kind of a rivalry almost between the two schools. And you have friends on that coaching staff. I mean, does that make it even a little bit surreal for you that it's such a big game that you have friends on that staff? Yeah, I think in this business you got friends a lot of places, and uh, <laughs> you start to evaluate what are what are friends. I mean, friends would be somebody you probably talk to on a weekly basis or maybe a monthly basis. And if that's if that's the case, I don't know that I have a whole lot of friends. So, um, but the reality is, there's a lot of people over there that that uh, yes, I've known, I've worked with, and um, have some long-standing relationships with. Luke, what's led to the increase in uh, turnovers that you guys are getting? Interceptions are, are up this year from last year. Is it just? Is it as simple as pressure and, and, and being in the right place? Well, I, no, I think it's as simple as guys making plays. You know, and, and uh, you know, you like to say you're coaching it and you're teaching it and you're talking about it and you're stressing it. And uh, it's not that we haven't done that in the past. It's it's when guys have had an opportunity to make them, they've made them. You know, the ball bounces up in the air. I think twice last week, and and uh, we catch both of them. Um, you know, and, and that's that's not just misfortune. That's not just good fortune. That's, you know, that's not just hey you're playing hard. That's just luck. No, that's that's guys having the ability to make the plays when they're there, and uh, you know having those players on the field that uh, you know can do it. Um, but also they're in a good position and, and they're and they're busting it. How do you feel about your defense now compared to how you felt about it going into last year's Big Ten championship game? I mean, again, it, you're, you're you're talking you know at different times of the year too, and. Uh, I know what you're trying to get at, and in comparing to say, hey, you feel good about things. And like I told the guys the other day, you know, the, the hardest thing is not to handle criticism. You know, the hardest thing sometimes is to handle praise. So just when you think you've started to get better and you're, you're where you want to be, <clears throat> you know, that's the things that, that cause letdowns and different things like that. So, you know, not, not what we learn from the past and those kinds of things, but, um, you know, we're, we're kind of that, that devaluation of a daily basis mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, we know where we want to get to, we want to move forward, we're not there yet. Um, but we know we're on the right track. Luke, what do you think of Joey's uh, sack celebration? <laughs> you know, I, I couldn't tell you much about it because uh, I never got many sacks my, myself, so the <laughs> celebration things were not big for me. Um, being a wrestler, uh, growing up as a wrestler, I don't think celebrations were much in, uh, in the mix in the, in the wrestling. So, uh, you know, it, everybody's got their own little thing. I think uh, uh, as long as he continues to have the opportunity to do it, I, I, I really love it. <laughs> the, the thing that he does, you know, He's very active on social media. He seems like a big hit with the fans, not just because of what he does on the field. Do is that something that you are aware of? You guys monitor, watch what he does, or describe how he is off the field a little bit? No, we monitor everything, you know. But uh, sometimes you have other people that do it. Um, you know, I don't follow and, and try to read up every single thing he does. You know, it's like your own kids. I mean, obviously you want to follow them and know exactly what they're doing. But the reality is, when they get to a certain age, you got to trust them. And uh, if there's something, there's something that you know we didn't like or something, I'm sure we would address it and talk to them about it. But uh, you know, they still are 18 to 22 year olds, and, and uh, hopefully they're using it in the right platform. But uh, you know, I, I can't say anything. I mean, for what he does on the field, for what he does in practice, what he does on an everyday basis, uh, I love the way he's growing and, and his maturity and where he's moving towards. From the standpoint of recruiting, though, is it is it good to have a player who seems to be gaining some popularity? I mean, that people notice nationwide a little bit. And that's great for everything. I mean, it's great for, for our defense. It's great for our team. It's great for our university. Uh, and it's great for recruiting as well. Um, you know, the, the, the block O sells. 
So, so there's going to be somebody, mm -hmm. you know, and it, the, the most, the, I guess you'd say the fortunate thing now is it, it's, uh, it's a positive image. It's a positive thing. At, and at times, though, the block o makes it difficult, too, if there's something that's not going well. You know, I mean, uh, whether you're not playing well or something like that, then, then they're going to they're gonna be on that, too. But, um, you know, again, I think these guys understand what they're, you know, what, what the name means on the front of their jersey and their chest, and, and uh, they hopefully they're using the platform in the right way, and, and most importantly, that they're preparing. And, and on Saturdays, the, you know, uh, they, they play like they, uh, like, they, like they talk in some of the things that they do. Coach, I'm not uh, sure I saw Armani Greaves out there on uh, Saturday. Just uh, what, uh, what's his status? Did he play on Saturday? Will he be in there? Or? Um, I don't know. I mean, you guys probably can look at the things. <laughs> I don't think he was out there Saturday. He did okay. not play. Is he, is he going to be able to play? I, I don't know that. I don't know that. He was not there for us this past week. And, and uh, you know, you probably would have to talk with Coach or the doctors to find out. We, we don't. You know, sometimes we're the last to know on some of those things. Um, okay. But he was not with us last week. Luke, with, I know you want to get pressure on every quarterback you face. With Connor Cook, how does he seem to handle that? Is he, guy, is he going to stay in and make the throw? Is he going to try to roll away with it and throw on the run? How does he handle that stuff? Well, he handles it pretty well. I, mean, I think he's the, maybe one of the least sacked quarterbacks in the nation right now. I'm not sure if there are one or two in the nation in, in, uh, in giving up sacks. Um, <clears throat> and that's a, that's, a, that's a combination to a lot of things. That's a combination to a great running game. That's a combination to great play passes. That's a combination to, to good blocking. Um, but that's also a combination of, of a guy that knows what he's doing with the football, too. And if it's not there, he's willing to get rid of it. Um, you know, and he takes some chances, too. I mean, obviously, he threw some balls in there against us last year that are you know, that still, I'm like, wow. You know, and, and you see some of those shots on film, too, that, that uh, he has confidence in what he's doing. He has confidence in his receivers. And um, like you said, as a whole, all in all, that, that's, that's why they're where they are offensively. Are there ways in which he has even grown since that game that you talk about? Well, I'm sure. I mean, you know, again, I mean, he was a little, I wouldn't say an unknown last year. Obviously, he started for three-fourths of the year, but uh, truly performing in a big-time game after, after that one, he went on, obviously, to win the Rose Bowl. So um, that, that can do nothing but help your confidence. And when you have confidence in this game, mm -hmm. um, great things happen. Yeah, Luke, when, when you think back to last year's game, do, do the big pass plays make you wince, or does, does them going right up the middle for their clinching touchdown, the one that put it away, which one just <laughs> sticks with you? I think all of them do. Yeah. Um, but, I, you know, I guess in the midst of it, the, the last one obviously hurts. Um, you know, you probably were in a situation where you were you no know, desperation. You were, you were, everybody was, you know, at that point where they were just had to make something happen. Um, the ones earlier in the game, the, the, the big passes are probably the ones that really stand out to you to say, you know what, the game, you know, that, that's the time in those, those situations when you got to make some plays. And, and uh, all in all, it doesn't matter. They all, they all add up, they all hurt, and they all lead to what we don't want. And that's, uh, that's not a victory. So um, no matter what they are and when they happen, <clears throat> they all count. As you look at them on video this this year, are they more wide open? They, you know, they're way up in the rankings, uh, total offense and stuff. They weren't necessarily last year and stuff. What do you, what do you notice that's a little different about them offensively? I think the confidence. I think they have much more confidence in, in Connor. And uh, with that with that being said, they allow him to do some things. But mm -hmm. they're still the same team. I mean, they're 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 going to be tough. They're going to be physical. They're going to do the things that they do. Um, they're going to run the football, and uh, they're going to keep you balanced. So. Yeah, I think in all in all, I think when you say that, that the balance of what they do, the consistency of what they do, and the confidence they have in their quarterback and, and uh, to, to do the right thing, I think uh, adds to, to success for them. But Stevie Miller. How have you seen the importance of this game change over the years? Uh, again, their success? yeah, and that's what it is. It's, it's obviously when when uh, when a team is as successful as they've been in the last few years, it, it makes it all the, the bigger, and uh, you know the, the connections a little bit sometimes to that. Um, add to it as well, but uh, all in all, it makes for, for a great matchup. It makes for great rivalries and different things like that. Um, but I don't know that it's changed a ton. You know, I mean, it's still that there's always been a battle between the two teams, and um, you know, the, the the way they've played in the last few years and the way we've played in the last few years um, just enhances the you know because of the Big Ten and, and some of the games that you know amongst rank, ranked uh, opponents. This happens to be one of the biggest ones. Look, Stevie Miller, when, when Stevie Miller uh, started the season, he was a guy who was going to you know, basically spell in rotation, and all of a sudden now he's being counted on to be to be a starter. Did the, did the switch have to flip with him in the last three or four weeks here to, to become a productive member of that defensive front? It seems like he's just playing with. No, the switch, and the Stevie has not changed, to be honest with you. Uh, Steve is a grinder. He is, a, he, is a, he is what this culture is all about. He's, he's a worker, always has been, always will be. 
Um, every single day he just does that. He just hadn't had as many opportunities, you know. And, and when you saw him out there, he was in opportunities where it was maybe 10 or 15 snaps, and sometimes he was he was pretty successful for us and and really uh, good for us. But the reality is he just didn't have a whole lot of opportunities. And uh, he's one of those guys that's that uh, will be talked about for a while because you know when when you have an opportunity, you got to take it. And sometimes those opportunities come and pass. And uh, for Steve, it hasn't because what? he's been prepared, and he's been ready, and he's been willing, and and, uh, and he's a fighter. What problems, uh, uh, challenges does Lippitt, their wide receiver, present? He seems to be a guy that will go get the ball in all kinds of situations. What, when you watch him on video, what, what jumps out about him? Obviously, he's a leading receiver. Uh, I think he averages over 22 yards a catch. So, I mean, big play possibilities yeah. are the thing. You know, and that's, that's what you see from him. On third downs, I mean, um, you know, you see, that's why I'm saying, you see Connor throw the ball up to him, knowing whether he's single covered or double covered, that he's going to go get the ball. And uh, I think he's a big part of the success that, that, uh, that they've had. Obviously, they're running the football, but when you got a guy that you legitimately say, hey, I don't care what you're doing out there coverage wise, we've got a guy that can win, whether it's one on one or two on one. Um, you know, they put him in those situations, they give him those opportunities, and he's been really successful at it. And from, what you know of Mark from what you know of Mark D'Antonio, what do you think of the job that he's done building that program at Michigan State? He's done a great job. You know, I mean, uh, I mean, what can you say? I mean, all you got to do is look at the, the records. And, um, you know, what you, what you really like to see in, in most programs is, is that consistency over time. And, uh, you know, I think that's the greatest thing you can say about what they've done over there. From the time they've taken over and the time they've moved on, probably haven't lost a whole lot of people or a whole lot of coaches, and, and it shows. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, they've done a great job. They'll continue to do a great job. Um, but that's not, you know, for us, it's about this. It's about this week. It's about the guys that are going on the field. It's not about, you know, their program. Uh, you know, us evaluating their program. It's it's a it's a one game battle, and um, you know, so that's kind of where we've got to make sure our focus is and not worried about anything else. And you know, whether you know people, or you don't know people. The reality is, it comes down to their eleven on our eleven at any given time, and, and uh, it'll be exciting.